Hello everyone, welcome back to my Halo Reach and the 3 Hours Guide for the Master Chief Collection. Now the next mission we'll be doing is Exodus. And this mission is pretty fun on, on Legendary I think. Now, now at the start of this level, we spawn in the, the boardwalk map of multiplayer. So the, so the very first few enemies you encounter is, is a few skirmishes and they'll be on these stairs just be here, so make sure you try and headshot them if you can. Otherwise they'll run on into the building if you don't mind to kill him fast enough. And also there's some more pistol ammo there if you need it. Now now this next part where the suicide guns are, you want to try and collect as much needed ammo as you can. As you'll definitely need it for the boots in the next area, as there's quite a lot of boots on this mission, so the more ammo you can find off the enemies the better really. So So normally a grunt would have a needle in the first room just be where I picked up. You just want to keep an eye on the grunts to make sure what, what, what weapons they have and make sure you get lots of needle ammo if you can. And also pay pay attention to your to your to your radar on, on the bottom left corner as you'll be able to see where the grunts are as you can't always see them in this part and I've been killed how many times by these grunts to see come on the corner. Well, I haven't been looking at my mini map, but anyway, so yeah, for this bit, it means you want to take your time really. Try and try and shoot them in the head if you can with the with the magnum. And once they're all eliminated, quickly go over their bodies to make sure they haven't got any need need ammo. When you get to this area, I, I like to throw a grenade as it just sets off a chain reaction where 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 if one of them blows up, they all blow up because all their grenades go off like a Constantino effect so yeah big chain reaction now when you get to this area you want to try and assassinate this brute just by here as it will save you a bit of ammo and a grenade if you do that now for the next brute I, I I normally try and stick him as it, as it saves a bit of needle ammo when I, when I shoot my needle on these few boots that come out of a dropship just by here it's best to do this as they jump out of the dropship so that they won't evade your bullets so you use less ammo and so don't don't like hold down the trigger like for a long period of time just like tap it and let go after like half a second or so and once you've done that some more skirmishes and the brutes will come outside of this door you want to take care of them as you, as you normally would just like this Once all the enemies are dead, I decided to pick up the sniper rifle as it can be handy for the next part of the level as you're inside a building and there's a lot of long corridors. But make sure you definitely keep your needle as you really do need that when you're defending the elevator from the enemies as there'll be loads of boots in that part. Now when I get up here, nothing I like to do, I like to go left here as it can be sometimes one or two grunts in Sometimes one of them will have more needle ammo, which can be really good. Now just, now just before I go inside this area, I like to hand back and take out a few of the boots if I can with, a, with the sniper. Also, there's some DMR ammo directly in front of you as you walk in. But I don't pick it up straight away as I, as I try and use the sniper rifle best I can. That was a nice no scope. I'm definitely not the best at no scope on this game. I, I'm nowhere near as good at as team snipers as some of my friends are. But anyway, once most of the enemies have been cleared out, this main area you want to you want to continue making your way to the back of the area, and you'll encounter some more jackals who have spawned. So at this point, you want to try and pick up a DMR. Also, there's more DMR ammo down there if you need it by the box. So yeah, just try and try and shoot the jackals in hand, and, and shoot them in the face. As as when you shoot them in the hand, it leaves them exposed for like a second or so, meaning that you can easily kill them. And once all the enemies are dead, there's a health pack here if you need it. Also, make sure you press the button. Also, there's some more needle ammo in that box just over there if you need, if you need it. Now. Now, in this next bit, there's like two waves of phantoms. So the first phantom will 
will spawn here. So ideally you want to try and take them out as fast as you can. Also the Phantom will have a well like a concussion rifle gun on the front of it. I'm not sure what the real name for it is, but that's what it is essentially. So you want to hide behind this makeshift shop. Wait for most of the enemies to, to jump out and start throwing your grenades and and start shooting the enemies with your DMR and needler. Now I take it I take out a few of the grunts here just to just to lighten their numbers a bit. Again, once you have the boots left, just just use your needler as it as we don't really last long with, with the needler, as we don't have any shields. I mean that the, the super combined from the needler will, will will blow them up a lot easier. And trying to headshot the boots can be a bit tricky, even though it does take three headshots to to take off his armor plate off his head. It can be a bit tricky to land those shots quite quickly as they move around all over the place, these boots. Now, now the next set of enemies will have more boots and, and we'll have some skirmishes just like this. So you want to take them out. I think I was a bit slow at taking these out, but anyway it was kind of a good thing as I as I was in a safe area. And they all came towards me as well. Okay now once you defend the area go to the go to the ammo box to, to grab some more leader ammo if you need if you need it then ride the elevator. Now this next area is really fun I think it's quite enjoyable doing this next part where you skip all the enemies which is really interesting so once you've finished with a lift you want to you want to make sure you have like a weapon on you that you can trade with the ODST for this rocket launcher now I give him my DMR as I don't really need it for the rest of the mission we don't really have any more grunt so Jack was really so once you grab this rocket launcher you want to grab the jetpack from inside this room grab any of the jetpacks anyone you want then you want to follow up the path that I take uh, as it will allow you to skip all the enemies pretty much for this next area and it will save a lot of time as well so you want to try and jetpack your way onto this beam just by here then you want to wait for it to sec to your jetpack to recharge then and fly over to this ledge just be here and then walk along the ledge when you get to this corner I, I, I normally just try and jump and use the jetpack to to jump back onto the ledge I use my jetpack to go over here so you want to come over here with your jetpack and just wait for your jetpack to recharge then then you want to jump up to this ledge where I'm going to jump up now and then then when you're up here you want to wait for your jetpack to fully recharge then just jump all the way up to the top with your jetpack and also when going up here I'd recommend having your sticky grenades ready and your rock launcher in your hand just in case to distract the enemies as it kind of helps it does distract and beat enemies in this area so you don't really have much cover when you when you get to the top bit and once you're up here there'll be some more rock launcher ammo and a DMR now what I like to do, I like to pick up the DMR to take out the three grunts in this area. Then I pick up whatever weapon I dropped off the floor, back up. Now once all the grunts are dead, make sure that the Phantom is a good distance away from you before you try and follow the path I take as I can still shoot you. Now you want to come to this building, jump on one of the flags. I would recommend jumping on the most far right one, as as this one, as this flag that I'm on, it, it's the middle of nowhere where basically if you if you fall you die basically so yeah just take your time with that make sure you're on top of the flag wait for your jetpack to recharge and then jump all the way up now in this next area there will be a fair few grunts with few rods at the start and, and a lot of boots and a boot chieftain eventually now I died I died here twice more as I got a bit greedy here so I wanted to Try and go faster, but but being greedy is not always good when trying to get good time. As I wasted around a minute or so having to restart the checkpoint. But anyway, key to this area is just to 
Take out as many grunts and jackals as you can at the start with, with, the, with your rocket launcher, as, well, as that will clear most of the enemies out. And the only main ever threats are the, are the brutes. And this is why you still want to be having the needler, as, it, as it's really good for this area. As well as just normal brutes with, with no shields. And there's a few brutes with, um, with the yellow armor on their face. I got, I got a bit distracted here, as I didn't realize there was a grunt behind me until too late. Yeah, it was all me and dying here because I got distracted by the boot, but anyway. So yeah, when you get to this area, I'd recommend trying to try and take out as many enemies as you can by the door as they're all grouped up. And the few odd grunts can be especially deadly. And they can just destroy you straight away if you don't even if they don't even see you, for example. So yeah, just, just use your needle on the grunts. Not, not the grunts, sorry, the boots, I mean. And then... And because we got lots of needle ammo left, I decided to use it on, on the remaining grunt as I didn't really want to use the rocket launcher on one grunt as that's more useful for the shade turrets and the chieftain. So yeah. Before going after the turrets I recommend trying try and try and lower the enemy numbers if you can. Then go after the, the shade turrets. I'm trying for my shields to recharge here. No, I tried to be a bit aggressive here, but but it, but I think the chieftain got the better of me on his part. There is this one regular boot left. We take care of him just like this. Now for the shade turrets, I recommend try and shoot him with the rocket launcher if you can, or the fuel rod would do. Either one of them. For me, but make sure you shoot them at the bottom of the turret as they can turn around which might result in you missing them wasting a shot potentially so yeah, so yeah, so you want to shoot dead at the bottom where where it connects to the ground meaning that you'll, you'll be able to blow it up a lot easier if it, if it rotates around so yeah now all that's left really is the brute chieftain now, I wasn't feeling too confident about using the needler and the uh, rock launch on him, so I decided to grab the fuel rod just in case. And I, I had a quite a bit of lucky encounter with this because I got I got a bit stuck by the ceiling. And luckily, luckily I lowered the shields enough with the first rocket shot, and I was able to take him out with the fuel rod quite easily. Once all the enemies are are, are um. Eliminated. Support the Falcon as you normally would. Now, in the Falcon ride, it's important you take out only the brutes with the yellow armor on their heads, as the other enemies aren't really a problem at all. Like, like you don't have to worry about the grunts or the brute chieftain, for example, that you encounter on this part. Now we're just waiting for the for this next part to start. I love this campaign so much, it was so good on the 360, I'm glad they re-released it on the Xbox One, so good. Okay, so, so, so the first two enemies you want to take out is these two boots on this on this rooftop just by here. So you want to get rid of them if you can, as they can potentially shoot you. Don't worry too much about the enemies on the floor, just by there. Then focus your fire on the boot that's up here on this roof. And when you get to down here, when you get down here, there'll be some more grunts, some more boots, and a boot chieftain. Don't worry too much about the chieftain. Just focus your fire on the on normal boots with the yellow armor on their on their heads. I must the boots all to all taken care of this bit. Now, now the next threat is the banshees. Like just focus on them if you can. Don't worry too much about the waves because they won't be able to hit you from from all the way on the floor. So yeah, the main importance is the is the banshees, as they can be quite dangerous for this part, as they can overwhelm you quite easily, as there's loads of them. So yeah, just focus your fire on the banshees, and I got a bit lucky here, as I, as I think one of them hit me with a few rod cannon, which depleted my shields. Okay, now. 
of his next bit of his next bit I really like this last section of the mission where, where you have to turn on the sound turrets to let the to let the civilian vehicle escape which is quite good also while you're making a way to the area where you get out of the Falcon, just keep an eye on the Banshees if you can, because they seem to fly all over the place. Even sometimes they decide to just dive on into the sea. But anyway, when you get to, when you get to this area, just focus your fire on the enemies that are on the ground. They can't really do much to you, as I've been mainly focused on the Marines, so they won't be a problem for you. Okay, now I want to get out the Falcon, pick up a health pack if you need it, and just make your way to to the Warthog. Once you get in the Warthog, you want to follow the path I take to the first AA turret. And because we got the jetpack, we'll be able to jump up to this one. Also, after you press the button, you want to pick up the active camera, as I, as I think is really helpful for this last part of the the mission. So the active camera is just by there. Make sure you activate it as they can't really shoot you. Okay now once you've done the first turret you want to follow where I go and use your active camera to, to get to the next area. So when you get to your talk, you want to use your active camera. I have no idea how I survived that shot. I don't know whether, whether I hit whether it was on the tree or but anyway, because I got active camera, that that brute didn't really see me at first, and I, got, I managed to get the upper hand on him. Now that we've activated the second SAM to it, get back in the war talk and drive to the building to press the last switch. Also, try not crash like me, because I had a bit of a fail here. So it wasn't fast enough, and the wave man to blow me up. My driving was still a bit questionable, yes, I managed to still roll it over. But anyway, got there in the end. Okay, now, now you want to follow the path I take just by here. Don't worry too much about the ghost, as you're just driving past the ghost, essentially. Then you want to drive up these stairs, just like this. When you get up to the top of the stairs, you want to jump out your ghost. Jump out your warthog, sorry. Then, then as soon as you do, activate your active camo. And jump up to the stage and press the button just like this. Now that's X is completed, I hope this video is helped out and I'll see you next time for New Alexandria. And thank you for watching.